<coughs> okay, so a little update about uh, walking around your territory. So I just walked around for about 45 minutes, um, sending out this light. Now I've got my um, my satin body working, so I've got like a stony sort of face going on, but I, I can feel the uh, the energy coming out of my my body. It's as though you're um, this sleeping giant, this Venus body, is just dipping its toe into your body. This is how it feels for me, and I can use that light to send it out and start cleaning out all the environment there, where all like my territory, or you know, in a up to a 150 meter radius around me. I mean, this is like all this light coming out. And it's cleaning everything. Um, there's going to be people uh, and places that are going to have resistance to this cleaning effect. Now, some people you're just going to notice them, it's like you can feel them in your aura, you know, and that they will have resistance because they're quite deep in the darkness. Like they've got a lot of sin going on. It's sort of like almost like caked mud on their aura, just caked, it's just stuck there. So it needs a few washes to get rid of it. So you're going to spot these people um, and feel where they are, where they live and stuff. Um, that's why, another reason why it's good to do this in the morning and in the evening, because these people are going to be generally around where they live. So you'll know where they are, who they are and stuff. There are going to be places that are going to re be resistant to uh, cleaning as well. Like um, two places I've noticed, for example, are churches and uh, police stations. For example, they're two, you know, pretty much obvious places where there's going to be a lot of darkness um, and corruption and stuff, and it's going to be deep-seated, entrenched corruption. So this is going to take, you know, several sweeps to go, go past it to get it sort of up to scratch, up, you know, as clean as, clean as you want it. On this subject, um, now, quite a few months ago now, I was walking around quite nearby where I live, and you know, experimenting with this sort of stuff. And there, there was, I th I'm pretty sure it was two women drove past me in a car, and they 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 were giving off such dark energies. It actually had a physical effect on me. You know, it was like, it was like walking through some really horrible thick smoke, and it choking you up. It was almost like that, but in my aura, you know. So. There, there are people out there that, that have got really dark energies, <laughs> like, like proper witches. Like the, 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 I don't just mean like these Wiccan type people that call themselves witches. These people probably wouldn't call themselves witches, you know. But they're like the, the, the sort of witches that um, from the Bible that says, "Do not suffer a witch to live." These sort of people are just sending out really dark energy. Now, I haven't actually encountered anyone like that today while I've been walking out, or since I've been doing this um, stuff this, for the last 20 days. But I know that they're out there. Um, and also, another thing to bear in mind, when you're walking around, I've already said this, I think, in, in another video, but yeah, um, you've got to remember that these people, the only people that are going to try and deal, uh, confront you, like I've got one person confront me today, just as I was coming back home. The other thing is to bear in mind, um, you might want to start off small, like doing a 10 minute circuit and then gradually build up. You know, and, uh, and increase your territory like that, and clean your territory from where you live, and gradually expand it out. Uh, that will make sense because you will, if you get tired, you don't really want to be caught out. You, you want to be able to go out into the world, do your work, and come back whilst doing your work. So you don't want to have to stop halfway because you're too tired, and then have to sort of make your way back tired because that's you're going to be easy prey for the for agents and stuff. Then so. It's best to probably start off small. Um, I probably just went a little bit too big, um, and I had this this guy come up to me. He was drinking a can of really strong beer. Uh, he, I don't know what he said to me, but he asked me some question, and I was just getting towards where I live. You know, so I just said, I just put my hand up and said, uh, "I'm busy." He was obviously drunk, you know, just being leery. Um, but this is the best thing the agents can do: send me a drunk. You know, and uh, he, he tried to bait me with some sort of insult after I said I was busy, um, but you know I just ignored it. Um, just a little minor irritation, nothing, not, not, not that serious it seems. Also, I'm noticing another little twinge on my on my left knee. That's the connection with the uh, um, 
like the venous body to the, the left side um, and to the ground. So that that's quite normal, but that's not it's not bothering me now. It's just little twinges I've noticed when I've had little, uh, you know, slight trouble getting past places and, and people, you know, because of the cleaning energy. People putting up a certain amount of resistance, but there's not really anything they can do because if they are trying to approach you, it's going to be the agent that is approaching you, right? Now you already know, you've already got it clear in your mind that there's nothing they they, they can get at you for, you know. They can't criticise you about anything, about what you're doing. They're only going to try to confuse you and stuff like that. That's about all they've got. They really haven't got anything strong. And if they, if anyone does come up with anything, um, you also want to be... Another a, a, a good thing to have in, on your side is uh, self-defence. It could happen that people, you know, you might get a drunk that will attack you or something like that, or somebody will just attack you physically. It probably won't happen, but it might, and it's good to be prepared. So I really would recommend learning some basic blocking manoeuvres, you know, and practice them. Ideally with somebody else, but you know, you can do it on your own. Um, I, I used to do it uh, with a tree. I'd find a tree that I like and, and you know, hit the tree with my arm, like to strengthen up my arm and the blocking movement. Um, you know, you want to do all different types of blocks, low blocks, high blocks, um, and use both arms, obviously. Um, so if anyone does attack you, you, you should automatically be re prepared for it. Um, and I've found that when this happens, because it's happened to me before, um, when people have attacked me for no reason, and I'm instantly blocked their first uh, blow against me, they stop. They're, 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 they're so shocked that I, I already am prepared, completely prepared for their attack. Um, and I don't fight back. I just, I generally have only had to uh, defend myself. So, uh, and that usually just puts a, a halt to, the, to their any sort of attack. That, you know, they 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 know then that you're 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 quicker than them. And it has, it's it's like that thing of uh, like the the, the gun the gun draw when it went like the the cowboys. The first person to pull the gun generally is the one who loses because it's, you can you can react more quickly than you can um, get your will in motion like deliberately. So the first person to draw is the person that gets shot because the other person reacts. They're not thinking about it, they're just reacting. And that's what you do, that's what you want to be ready for. If anyone attacks you, you just react and defend yourself and that will stop them in their tracks. And they'll know they're up against a superior opponent. Um, it's a very, very unlikely that an actual, um, unless you're a very weak person yourself, it's very unlikely that somebody's going to actually try and attack you who's fully capable of defeating you. That's that's against the rules as far as I'm aware. So that almost certainly won't happen. But it's very uh, good to be prepared, as, as, as prepared as you can be for any sort of physical assaults on your person. You know, by knowing about the, how to defend yourself, like with basic um, blocking maneuvers. Okay, so I think I'll leave that for the update. Yeah, that's about, I think I've covered most of the stuff there, you know. I'll get around to adding more stuff over the next few days and that if I need to.